Hello, I'm Tom Morbitzer, a partner at Amore Architecture LLP. We're based in New York City, but today we're in Palm Springs, California at the James Logan and Helen Abernathy House, designed and built in 1962 by the architect William F. Cody. This house is really special. It's a modernist icon and it's on all the tours for Modernism Week. We've helped this incredible owner bring this house back to its original glory and then some. Today, I'm gonna to walk you through the house and show you a really special little secret pavilion that we added and it picks up cues from the original architecture. Come with me. The first thing you'll notice is that when you come into the garden, you come down a few steps. For the design of the pavilion, we used the same exact white terrazzo and we made two steps back up to this. You'll notice that there's a really special detail here where the steps become planks and there's a reveal below allowing them to float. We also brought out the brass strips that divide up and create some expansion for the terrazzo. Douglas fir continues from the posts to the paneling on the ceiling and from these long gracious overhangs we have original style light fixtures, a vaulted ceiling that lifts up with heavy exposed structure above. This outdoor pavilion has a lot of amazing features, but one of the most central impressive feats is this outdoor fireplace. So I'm sitting on a continuous pour concrete hearth, it creates a wonderful secondary seating option and gets you close to the fireplace. We have this Stan Bitters sculpture that's in sea green and turquoise glass. So this house is organized around a pinwheel design. It has a central pavilion in the middle and then wings that stretch out in different directions. All of that helps create this backyard, which frames the desert landscaping, the pool, the mountain view. When planning this pavilion, we actually looked at where this would fit best on site and located it in this corner. This makes for really incredible moments of shade and shadow in the evening and also allows us to look at the main house throughout the day. We actually included a lot of details from the original house on this pavilion to make it look like it's always been here. So some of the most important lessons we've learned from working on this house over the years is palette. The material palette on this house is really limited to natural materials and soft colors. You'll notice that this has a really striking texture, which in the Palm Springs light creates some really wonderful shade and shadow over the course of the day. This material is also used on the paneling on the ceiling and a lot of the walls and creates a sort of envelope when there isn't glass or when there isn't something called slumstone. Slumstone is a lightweight building material that creates some of the perimeter walls that you see in these views. It's also the lightest color in the house, so it really reflects some of that wonderful Palm Springs light. All of these materials are complemented by the desert landscaping that we have across the house. Everything feels very soft, very muted, and it really adds to that southwestern feel. So this house is a special kind of modernism. It's a kind of modernism that is global. It's a kind of modernism that isn't kitsch, and it's really, really unique in this area. We really enjoy showing you our projects and how we do things. It's important not just to understand the final product and the pretty picture, but all of the process that goes into it. We hope you'll join us again for some more fantastic behind the scenes architecture videos and like and subscribe. Please check out more of our work at amorellp.com.